Spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of drumming class is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. I would have figured you'd been to drumming class before. Braden and I moved around a lot when we first got together, but we never made it here. Just a reminder, this is an imperial world, which means rules, rules, and more rules. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. I like tweaking with authority. How did I know you were going to say that? Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Krista Markon. <laughs> and then I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Oh, sorry, sweetie, didn't see you there. What can I do for you? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. An all-girls hunter team. Good for you. How long you two been partners? Feels like Mako's always been there to back me up. Fantastic. It's rare to see that kind of solidarity in our business, you know? You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. It's okay. I brought over three dozen rounds of ammo. I just bet you did. I hope you can back up that kind of talk. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're gonna sort things out. Head into the main room and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. Quiet! Quiet, you dogs! The Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay attention and show some respect for once in your lives. You heard the Huntmaster. You're competing for the last spot in the Great Hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Koss. Expect us to hunt here with Imperials crawling all over us and Sith? Never met anybody who's blaster proof. The jungles here are secluded and dark. We'll have all the privacy we need. For all you overblown, useless, no talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now! The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. Do I look like a coward to you? Now you look like a kid with fire in her eyes. The kind who gets herself killed. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Well, what are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood. A dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaus is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman Kaus. Gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee. What exactly is this melee I keep hearing about? Ooh, it's a big old scrap. Everybody who gets all three of their bounties goes into the rage pit. One comes out. Now let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What'd he do? It'll be fine. What are we dealing with here? I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. Didn't think the Republic had an aristocracy. Law of the galaxy. Anywhere somebody with a fancy name can step on somebody without one, they will. Valtaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. I've been looking to earn some real credits for a change. Well, now's your chance. Assuming you can ever find the guy. 
The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K full-gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. Didn't know they made devices to freeze people. Carbonite ain't so much freezing as it is... Well, I ain't got a clue, really. <laughs> Just have fun. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. Dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter from an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Why would a noble be writing love letters to a slave? That's what I want to know. It must have been the Force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places, and for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Decker. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus Room is where we'll find these weirdos. This whole planet is weird. I am with you there. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. Sir, just as I said. That looks like her, all right. Bounty Hunter, I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. You're a funny man, Sergeant. Think of that joke all by yourself. Don't get cute, off-world scum. Remember, you're an outsider here. I can shoot you just as easily as bring you in. Sergeant, Taro Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Since when does the Imperial Navy take its orders from Mandalorians? Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. She's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Huh? Sir? Who's that guy? Blood. I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah. Either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You can't spend credits if you're all dead. That makes a whole lot of sense. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. Cowards! The rest of you, attack! Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that filthy vagabond. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. I know who you really are, Lord Daka. Uh, then you know I am to be uh, feared, and that you should not keep talking to me. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from her. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? Altaka's family put a bounty out for him. I'm just here to collect. My family? How can that be? I thought... You... you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family, that this... this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Ugh, you can be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. Make this fast, lady. I've got other things to do. 
My darling, my lovely Al Tucker. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Al Tucker's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. What? You wanted to kill me? I don't kill people, unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. You don't scare me, you pathetic witch. Just leave. There, Hunter. Competition out there is something crazy. A couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. And you found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. Nobody should have to go through what that man suffered. Nobody understands why women do themselves so well in the hunts. It's the empathy. Your second bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Frabal, Imperial Navy. I don't see what the big deal is. You haven't dealt much with Imperials, have you? They make huts look downright honest. Here's the slip. For balls in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. The office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? Can I just be here to talk to you? Yes, well, um, are you? Just here to talk to me, I mean? Oh, I see, you're making fun of me. <laughs> I can't imagine why he'd think you're making fun of him and his big important desk. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. Let me in there. Now. I really couldn't care less what you... What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome individual here, Admiral. Rather dirty, too. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. I bet you get a demerit for that, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're terrible. The Admiral is waiting. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He is of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. That was good thinking. Ah, yes, just so. I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. That's something you don't hear every day. Then I'll assume you're newly arrived to Droman Cass. Things work a bit differently here. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen. A madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Why not just get her a new master? It's outside of my control. The Sith manage their own affairs, the rest of us merely suffer the consequences. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst... This is one messed up way to run a planet. You deal with the empire you have, not the one you might wish you had. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. Is there going to be fallout for taking down a Sith? Not as long as nobody knows what happened. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. Lord Grathen's flunkies might be other hunters' targets. 
If that's true, we'll look extra impressive if we get those bounties first. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. What have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grathen's spy said my father contacted the Mandalorian Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real live Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. It doesn't matter who kills you. A woman has to have standards. Wait, you don't seriously think you can kill me? I mean, I'm a Sith and you're just... Uh, whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. Then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? Apparently, my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. You believe you're invincible, little girl? No, of course not. A more powerful Sith could kill me. Or a really lucky Jedi, I suppose. Perhaps a bomb, but not some random bounty hunter. You must be so crushed. Live and learn, I guess. Except, not in your case. Sorry. What? I, I lost? Can't lose. I'm Sith. You were Sith. Now you're just done. Can't die like this. Fall into some common bounty hunter. Everything Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. It's time you and your father had a chat. No, that's worse. Reports of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... Veretta's not dead. I brought her back to you. You... you froze her? Why? I was so specific in my directions. Why in the galaxy would you do this? Why would you refuse a specific order and not eliminate the target? I figured it was a family affair. You're incredibly insightful for a bounty hunter. As soon as you left the premises, I realized my mistake. A mistake that would haunt me the rest of my days. We weren't about to let that happen, uh, sir. You've done me a great service, Hunter. She's all I have of her mother. Great services deserve great rewards. What? Oh, of course they do. Of course. Here is your writ and your fee. Now, please. I need some time with my... with my daughter. The bounty is done. Just one more, and I'm in the melee. Right you are. And competition is heating up. That little green girl, Iopian Rattle, finished all her bounties. Heard she poisoned an Imperial Moth. Lucky we didn't get that one. Not sure how we'd work it out. Now, I ain't allowed details on whatever you were scrapping for Admiral Fabal, but I got a clearance note says it was duly scrapped. Nice payday, too. There was a squabble between the Admiral and his Sith daughter. Complicated. Sounds right tricky, but less I know, the better. Here we go. Bounty three. I call it, someone's got a serious hate for my hunter. Top secret, crazy, red flag covered. This one's for a Captain Metal in Imperial Intelligence. No other information. What exactly is Imperial Intelligence? Spook arm of the Empire. Secrets, lies, and things that don't need asking about. Watch yourself with those people. Stay careful. Get this one done, and don't get yourself dead in the process. The... Oh, right. The Bounty Hunter. Glad you could make it. You nervous, Hunter? Parked in the middle of Imperial Intelligence and all. I could say one word, or touch one button, and you'd disappear forever. Poof. Gone. Just like that. No one would even dare to ask what happened to you. Go ahead. Say the word, and see what happens. <laughs> Nicely done. I like you, Hunter. I really do. I never signed up for this cloak and dagger stuff. I was a regular soldier. Then one day, I put together a covert operate that goes a little too well, and bam, I'm in Imperial Intelligence. Look, what I'm saying is the stuff that goes on in these halls is insane, and all of it is crazy hush-hush. So what I'm going to tell you has to stay just between you and me. Got it? 
My price tag always includes the cost of discretion. Here's the deal. There's a huge ancient Sith temple on Drummond Cuss. Used to just sit there being scary. Now the place is crawling with Sith sorcery, and it's been ordered a no-go zone for everyone. Naturally, we sent a team in. My commander led that team. Nobody came back. We can't report any of them dead without reporting the mission, which puts me in a bind. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to the temple? Because you've got warrior instincts, like me. If I can't prove my commander's dead, I can't take over his spot, which means an ugly power vacuum. I'm hiring you to enter that temple and find the team's ID cards, especially my commander's. I need those IDs to create more acceptable deaths for them. Can you even keep all this intrigue straight? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. All I can do is try and stay on top of the pile. Make sure you find an Imperial commander named Gargan. Can't imagine there'll be more than one corpse in a temple wearing commander stripes. Grab all the team's ID cards and double time it back here quietly. Is this in front of me? Another worshipper? Who braves the flames of the Altar of Horror to stand in front of Lord Barrel Slathborn, Lord of the Sith? This tomb has driven you insane, Lord. Insane? No. Do not seek madness, but fear and hatred, the tools of the Sith! Where's your lightsaber, my lord? Don't you feel naked without it? Insolence! You will perish in flames! To me, my disciples! The IDs. Fantastic. Let me see. That's Commander Gargan's all right. What was it like in the Dark Temple? I've yet to hear anything that didn't sound like pure raving. Just some weird lights. No big deal. Huh. Still wish I could have got it myself. Would have saved me some unpleasantness. Listen to me. Unpleasantness. I'm even starting to talk like a spy. Friend. Remember when I said Sith didn't want anyone in the Dark Temple? That ain't sounding too good. I wish there was another way to handle this. I really do. I can't risk the Sith ever finding out you went into their precious Dark Temple, which means you're now a liability. I apologize. This isn't the way a fighting woman should die. Guards! <laughs> that went wrong, didn't it? Got a hole in my gut. I'm not going to beg. Turning on someone who did their job is wrong. We both know it. Here's your writ. <clears throat> it tells the Mandalorians you did your job. And here's your pay. The rest is up to you. Are you gonna send more men after me? To do what? Add to the body count? My men are no match for you. How about I make a more concrete apology? I'll send you some top-of-the-line weaponry as soon as you're out of here. That work for you? I'm glad this didn't have to get personal. It never was. Believe me, you're everything a woman should be. Wish I'd met you when... when I was still a man. What's done is done. Good hunting to you. You're alive! Some Mandalorian big shot named Carol Blood said you were dead. They're about to start the melee without you. I can't wait to kill that man. You're gonna have to wait until after the melee. All the other hunters who survived are already inside. Get in there! Nothing will stand in my way. That's the spirit. Last hunter left standing joins the great hunt. Simple as that. All weapons are allowed, but you fight alone. No assistance. And it looks like we have a latecomer. I just like to make a big entrance. Coming back from the dead is a big entrance, all right. Huntmaster, will you do us the honor? We all heard tales of your exploits, Hunter. Perhaps I'll turn them into a song to commemorate your death. Make sure it's something you can dance to. Consider it done. I'd wish you luck, but it wouldn't help. So I'll just say goodbye. Enough! You hunters are the best that the galaxy's goons and thug lords could send us. Now show us which one of you will join the Great Hunt. Fight! Melee! 
is over. One hunter remains. <laughs> Quite a show you put on. Blasted fun to watch. How do you feel, Hunter? I just stomp my competition into the dirt. I feel great. <laughs> Enjoy it. Things only get harder from here. <laughs> this is simply ridiculous. I mean, really. This needs to stop right now. Are we starting the hunt already? No! No! No unsanctioned kills in the Great Hunt! You see? That's a perfect example. I object to this farce. This ignorant thug does not deserve to enter the Great Hunt. Her credentials are a lie, fabricated by her little gutter rat of a sidekick. She deserves no honors. You lying, cheating, murdering scum! We know this hunter's history, Blood. The Huntmaster has ruled. You fools! This is a place of honor, a competition of elites. Mandalore will hear of this. I sure hope you're not gonna cry. Enough! Before this great hunt is over, I will have your skull in my hands. Well, the great hunt just got way more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Huntmaster. Please continue. <coughs> You get all that, Hunter? Maybe you want to sum it up for me? <sighs> all right, I'll try. But without the flowery stuff. You'll be hunting targets spread across the galaxy. There'll be at least one other hunter going for them, too. You not only have to take down your target, you have to eliminate the other hunters. That seems simple enough. Your handler, Krista, will fill you in on the rest of the details. She's waiting for you. Ooh, what a thrashing! The other handlers are all bug-eyed jealous you won. Now, on to the great hunt. I expect you want to hear about your targets. I wiped the floor with my competition back there. <laughs> I know. Snuck me a peek while it was happening. Good fun. Here's how it's gonna work. First, you're getting a starship. No more shuttle rides for me. It ain't gonna be quite that easy. We'll talk about it in a second. On your ship's computer, you'll access two holo recordings, both with specific details on who and where you hunt. What's Tarot Blood going to be doing? The same thing. That's how the Great Hunt works. Each target will have another hunter assigned to it. You have to locate that rival and take him out, too. Maybe we'll get lucky and Tarot Blood will be on our first target. Now, about your ship, there's a tradition for new hunters. You gotta steal one for yourself. I can already tell this is gonna be a blast. That's what life is for a hunter. Now let's find you that perfect ship, yeah? Gotcha. I know one that belongs to one of them so-called importer types. Fast, smooth, and roomy. I'll pull together your holo recordings for the great hunt targets and transmit them when you hit space. Meantime, head to the spaceport. Get past whatever guards are around, steal your ship, and hit the hyperlanes. My trigger finger needs some exercise. <laughs> Still? You've been working it non-stop since you got here. Your first round of targets are on Balmora and Narshada. Good luck to you, Hunter. Right, you disgusting pile of puke! Drop your weapon and kiss the floor! This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? What are you people doing in my hangar? Your hangar? That's rich. You think you can steal the hangar as well, you verminous lout? I've had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. 
Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. You spaceport guys must have initiation rituals too. Karagimi, Anikag Nikag, Kaniak Gak Akiguamjam. You are the man, get her! Rules or no rules, Taro Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Atta girl, get pumped. <sighs> Alright, let's get moving. We've got a tarot blood to kill and a great hunt to win. <laughs>